Okay, uh, let's see how to install um, QGIS with uh, OSGO for uh, W on Windows. So you go to the to search download QGIS. And uh, you get to this um, page. And so there you have uh, different options, Windows, and Mac, and so on. I'm going to show you for Windows. So for Windows, you're going to choose here, but instead of downloading the uh, this version, you need to go down here, Network Installer. So when you in the note, here you have um, so basically there's either the standalone installer or there's the OSGO for W installer. OSGO for W, you can search and um, it's a uh, open uh, software and. Um, it's like includes uh, different uh, JS desktop applications, libraries, uh, Python, and so on. So it gives you kind of a integrated environment where you can um, do more things, more things that you can do with the standalone installer. So what you need to do is to download here. So you're going to download uh, this uh, setup file. And now you're going to run that. Uh, I downloaded before, it's the same. So remove this. Okay, so this is the one we want. And I'm going to run it as an administrator. Submit a pin. And when we get here, we can do the express install. So I do next. And I need to uh, pick the um, what's the, the server I want to connect to. So really, I don't know. I'm going to pick one. And we I'm going to install the long term a version QGIS, also Chital and Grass, which because we might want to use some functions from that GIS. Okay, so I'm just going to follow the recommendations. Now you have to accept a lot of license terms because there's different kind of open source software okay okay so if um, if everything went well your installation was successful now you want to know where do you where's the file that will run QGIS so you open in file explorer to locate the file you go to uh, local disk c and this installation will have created a folder called osgo 4 w and if you go to the subfolder called bin then you'll have down here if you look for qgs You'll have an um, executable file which will be we'll call QJS for you. So um, let's uh, pin it to the taskbar so it'll be easier to reach. We have a shortcut. Um, and now you'll be able to do open QJS from this uh, shortcut. You have to be careful because maybe you had an older installation of QGIS, so when you look for QGIS, it might open a different one. And we prefer to work with this one. Uh, so let's see if that was successful. We can go here to the Python console. 
on QGIS. And in the Python console, we will look at that, of course, much more. But let's just import a package which is to so you write import package called sys for system. And if you don't get any error message, that's a good sign. And um, now, so now you have sys, you can call sys executable, which will indicate where what's the file that you're running that uh, to 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 run QGIS. So it's it's right. It's the one we wanted. So that's um, that's good. Um, the other thing that was installed is a terminal for um, OSGO4W, and uh, that can be um, useful to, for instance, to install Python package that you might want. So we can look for this uh, terminal. I'm going to press the window uh, button and then look for shell. And you see there's, uh, there's this uh, shell. Um, so you could, um, you can, when you need, you can just open this and you get the terminal where, um, where you can you know write commands you can access python uh, python interpreter so i can write something that works i can um, leave the python interpreter and go back to and that we'll use mostly to install packages i'll give you an example if i want to install something called geopy then I can do it uh, from here. Okay, and this package is going to be available, and I'll be able to use it in um, in uh, QGIS. So now, if I come here and say, oh, "Well, let's," I want to import that package, then it works. So there's no error. That means that he did import the package. Okay, so um, otherwise the you know the QGIS interface is exactly the same that you get if you if you download the standalone um, installer.